Have you heard about the great conjunction but aren't sure what it is? Conjunctions are another type of syzygy where three objects roughly line up with each other in space. We learned about eclipses last month, where the three objects are the Sun, Earth, and Moon. This time it is Earth, Jupiter, and Saturn. The close approach of Jupiter and Saturn in our sky is called a Great Conjunction because it is the rarest of alignments of the planets visible to the naked eye. It occurs every 20 years or so as these gas giants slowly make their way around the Sun. The 2020 conjunction is special because it is the closest these planets have appeared since 1623. And to top that, the one in 1623 happened very close to the Sun from our point of view and may not have been visible, making this possibly the closest conjunction observed since 1226. To see them come this close again, you'll only need to wait till 2080. The planets will make their closest alignment at 1137 a.m. Arizona time on December 21st, coincidentally the same day as the winter solstice. It is possible, though somewhat challenging, to see them during the day if you have a telescope. It is very important, though, that you do not accidentally look at the sun, as this could cause permanent eye damage. So it is recommended that you wait until after sunset to make your observation, as it is much easier and much safer. These planets move so slowly that they will still be close together at that time, visible near the southwestern horizon. At closest approach, they will be about a tenth of a degree apart, or more precisely, 6.1 arc minutes. That is close enough they can both fit within the field of view of a typical amateur telescope. You might wonder if they ever get close enough to overlap. This event is called an occultation, and it does happen, though it is exceedingly rare. The last time this happened was 6857 BC, and the next will be AD 7541. Another thing that happens sometimes is what's called a triple conjunction. All planets go through periods of retrograde motion as seen from the Earth, and if Jupiter and Saturn are in this period during a great conjunction, they can pass each other three times in our sky over a few months. This last happened in 1981 and will next happen in 2239. In history, great conjunctions were sometimes treated as omens of political or religious significance and were mentioned as such by philosophic and popular literary authors. Astronomer Johannes Kepler investigated the possibility that a triple conjunction in 7 BC might have been related to the Star of Bethlehem mentioned in the biblical Christmas story. There is no consensus on the star's identity, though, with others proposing a conjunction of Jupiter and the Moon in 6 BC, or Jupiter and Venus in 2 BC, or something else altogether. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Space Bites, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Looking for a cool gift this holiday season? Pick up your favorite Flandreau merchandise on the UA Bookstore website. Just click the link in the description for more info. Join us again next time and stay hungry.